begins at midnight. This is Chris Aldridge. Thank you, Darren. This is BBC Radio 4. It's exactly half past five on Sunday, the 20th of October. Good morning. This is News Briefing with Carolyn Brown. BBC Radio 4. It's half past five on Monday, October the 14th. Good morning. This is News Briefing with Charles Carroll. The headlines this morning. BBC News at nine o'clock. The Energy Secretary, Ed Davey, has said plans to build a new nuclear power station are essential if people want, in his words, to keep watching television and turning on the kettle. The £16 billion project is expected to create 25,000 new jobs. The headlines again. The Liberal Democrat leader, Nick Clegg, has made clear he disapproves of key sections of the coalition's education policy. In a speech next week, he will call for tighter controls on free schools. The leader of the SNP, Alex Salmond, has promised to re-nationalise Royal Mail in Scotland if the country votes for independence next year. BBC News. Read by Corey Corfield. Now, here's Mark Lawson to tell us about a special programme on Radio 4. The food programme was presented by Sheila Dillon and produced in Bristol by Dan Saladino. Now, the lunchtime weather. Here's Nick Miller. Hello. And we're just about to finish here on Radio 4. Thanks for listening right to the end. This is Arlene Fleming, on behalf of everyone here at Broadcasting House, wishing you a safe and a peaceful night. Good night. BBC News at Midnight. This is Jim Lee. Police and politicians are locked in a bitter row over the treatment of the former Conservative Cabinet Minister, Andrew Mitchell. The Home Secretary says three policemen should face misconduct proceedings for misrepresenting his comments about the Pledgate row. Looking ahead to tomorrow here on BBC Radio 4, the former barrister and member of the House of Lords, Jeremy Hutchinson, will be cast away by Kirsty Young to select his eight Desert Island discs at 11.15. Jenny Cuff will be investigating why British nationals are fighting alongside opposition forces in Syria and examining the routes they take to join the rebel groups. That's in file on four at five. But now it's time for us to take our leave. And so on behalf of everyone working here at Broadcasting House in London, this is David Miles wishing you a very peaceful night. Good night. BBC News at six o'clock. This is Caroline Nichols. Good evening. Here on BBC Radio 4, in a moment we'll make our nightly connection with the BBC World Service and, of course, as usual, their programming will take us through until 5.20 later this Monday morning. For now, though, I am Neil Newnan saying thanks for your company, and here's wishing for you a very, very good night. In half an hour, Johnny Sweet plays Tom Sheffield in his comedy of relationships hard to tell. This week, a bike accident lands Tom in A&E just as he's about to go for a pizza. Hard to tell is at half past eleven. Now, Britain's tabloids have been relentlessly under the spotlight, and in the eyes of some, they're a spent force when it comes to serious journalism. This is the story of Hugh Cudlip, the sinking of a tabloid dream. This is BBC Radio 4. It's half past five on Thursday, the 17th of October. Good morning. This is News Briefing with Susan Ray. This is BBC Radio 4. It's half past five on Saturday, the 14th of September. Good morning. This is News Briefing with Vaughan Savage. BBC News at six o'clock. This is Neil Sleet. Good evening. And remember, if you missed any of this week's Now Show, you can download this week's edition free from the BBC Radio 4 website. That's in the usual place, bbc.co.uk forward slash radio 4. Now let's get an update on the weather forecast. Here's the man with the details. It's Nick Miller. BBC News at 6 o'clock. This is Zeb So. Good evening. issued by the Met Office on behalf of the Maritime and Coast Guard Agency at 0505 on Thursday the 3rd of November 2011. Well, that's it from us here at Radio 4. Do join us again in the morning on with you bright-eyed and bushy-tailed at 20 past 5 with the shipping forecast, news briefing and the bells on Sunday in quick succession. Until then, for me, Jane Steele, a very good night. Radio 4 returns at 5.20 in the morning. Until then, the World Service takes us through the small hours. This is Luke Tubnam on behalf of all of us here at Broadcasting House in London, wishing you a safe and peaceful night. Good night. Well, I'm sorry, we have already lost Jonathan. Then we'll be at any questions. I do apologise. We'll see if we can get back there in just a moment.